I haven't done a brisket video in a while, and this is over 20 pounds of brisket that I trimmed and seasoned overnight. I took all the fat and I boiled it down, made all this tallow, which I'm gonna inject into this thing. And this is the leftover crispy fat. That's like meat candy. So I've got the Kamado starting up and I'm getting ready to get this on the grill probably in about a half an hour or so. So, I always start with so. I don't know why. Because of my best friend Michael, I think. But, got an Oxo meat injector. This is the towel that I made yesterday. And this is pure beef fat that came out of that. And now, in the point, we're going to inject it. Pump it up. You can see it squirting out. And I learned this from Spoken Dad Barbecue. In fact, I'm following his entire instructions and in setting up the Kamado and uh, injecting the tallow. Oh, geez. <laughs> wow. Now this, this meat is actually pretty um, cold because it's been in the refrigerator and it would probably would have been a little easier if it was warmer to get this towel inside. As you can see, it's squirting out all over the place. And maybe just a little bit more up in here. Okay. Perfect. All right, she is ready to go. Now just waiting for the fire. Jeez, this thing just fits on the Kamado. So we are ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna be cooking at around 275 to 300. And I know that this setting where this lines up with the M right here. I guess I could show you that way better. With the second M, that's gonna be right around 275. Um, but since the meat is on and the meat's almost frozen, I'm gonna put this over here a little bit and then have my remote so I can see it on here since it was open. And uh, my remote will tell me when it's getting up to temperature. You see it's starting to go back up. And then I'll put it right to that M. All right, so this is looking pretty good. And at an hour and a half in, I am going to spray this thing down to get a nice bark. With a combination of apple cider vinegar and some water. Alrighty, so we're just going perfectly right around uh, 275 for this cook, which is exactly what it should be when that thing's lined up with the M. So that's pretty crazy. And another hour's gone by, and it's time to spritz. Mmm, looking good. Now what I should do is put a little piece of wood underneath this. So this is uh, dropped down and it drains out. It makes more bark there, but I'm not going to. <laughs> but I did just open this drawer, pull out and put in some more post oak in the bottom of the ash drawer container and then put it back in to get a little additional smoke. So we'll see how that goes. 
right, so I just brought that in and now look at the bark on that thing. That looks fantastic. I'm gonna put it on this foil and make a foil boat. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, good, I can always edit. it. So now this is going in with the foil boat and this stuff here, God, this is slippery. Is my brisket juice and stuff from a previous cook. This is going right down inside. This is just going to keep this point really juicy. And then we're going to have extra wood now in the bottom. A little smoke. Um, okay. Ready? Yep. And I will do a little spritz. Keep the bark moist for now. Okay. Okay, so after an eight and a half hour cook, you can see if you do a close up, we have great bark here. And to see if it's probe tender, I'm just gonna drop this. That <laughs> is probe tender. So you see, we're in good shape. And I think Tony and Adam are gonna just love this. Um, refrigerated this overnight because I didn't wanna carve it last night, got home late. And um, warmed it up a little bit at 150 in the oven. It's still maybe only 90 degrees inside. I just cut the, uh, the flat. By the way, I injected the flat, not the point. And as you can see, even though it's still a little cool, it's pretty tender and it's pretty juicy and it's going to be amazing. Actually, like I always do. Mmm. It's really good. Okay, so now take a look at that. That's the flat that I trimmed out. These are all, um, you know, 12 and 8 ounce portions. And then this is the the point. Look at the look at the marbling in there. I mean, there's a smoke ring. I mean, this looks really good. We're just divvying it up.